The other day I posted a hat and I said how I don't join my rows and I've actually been much happier doing that. And somebody had asked me to show the back so I figured I'd just do a video um, on that orange one that I did and the pink one that I did. I did a um, half double crochet foundation chain to fit my head and then I, I wrote the pattern up there what I did but um, with the, the third loop only I did have to join those because if you don't join those they won't be straight back here and you won't get a um, it'll kind of warp them so I did join the first few rows with the third loop only and then I did half double crochet and I don't join when I get to this point what I do is when I get to the end I'll do a half double crochet into that actual last space before you join it and then I'll do a single crochet in the next one so it kind of jumps it over so now you can just continue around <clears throat> and then when I, I do I did three rows of half double crochet and then I start my front post back post half half double crochet and again I'm not joining <clears throat> and I'm just jumping up and as you can see you, re you can't even really tell where my join line is doing it this way so I I've been practicing with this um, on a lot of the hats that I've been doing and I'm, I've been much more pleased I and mean, with the join line you're always going to see something so I mean you see the join line here on these third loop only that's really hard to cover but as far as the the half double crochets in the back post front post you're not seeing any joins which is lovely um, and I just continue on and continue on all the way up without joining changing from row to row and it's working um, and then I talk about how I decrease and then I do a drawstring close so when my hole gets small I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna take my tail and run it around my hole and pull and it'll close that hole in and then I have to turn it inside out to do that and then just stitch it tight <clears throat> so anyway that's without joining so it's a really simple thing just do that little half double crochet in your join spot and then just do a single crochet and then it'll all work out in the long run you'll see a little dip when you first come up on that first one you'll see a little noticeable incline but it'll all work out as you start your rows and go up so i hope that was helpful